So my name is Omar Rampersad. It is uh, 2.31 p.m. June 16, 2019. So just a little uh, addition to uh, the video I just posted. Um, I'm being updated around my unit that uh, there are meetings about me. And uh, this, this, these meetings involve my family. And I heard that my sister-in-law recertified some sort of a statement she had made about me that whatever it is, I'm not quite sure what the contents are. But I'm being updated by the people in the build around the building and who lives in the building. They come around and, and they walk outside and the kids especially and they shout these comments. That is related to um, what's going on because this has been ongoing for at least 10 years. So it's all related. So the comments um, can easily be identified as part of the harassment. Um, if you say something like, um, you know, the family is ashamed of it, of her. Um, she's recertified and they call certain names of the people I work with or names of my family members. You know that they're referring to what's going on. So I just want to talk about um, what my family um, uh, is saying or doing. I obviously don't get along with, um, with um, family members. So uh, what they're saying is um, is part of the targeting program that started in this building, and they're all based on lies. Now, um, the lies were being told because um, I'm suspecting that there are individuals of this building who are recruiting. They're selecting people in the building, vulnerable people, and they are flagging them based on lies in order to monitor them, which is re which is really a cover for trafficking. So in order for that to happen, um, defamation campaigns would have to be run that the person is a prostitute. This information was given to my family and my family believed it. Now that the dirty policemen who are taking part in the trafficking are backing up these claims. Uh, because if a cop says, well, we think that she's a prostitute, then it lends credibility to it, uh, to the claim. But I, I was never a prostitute and I'm not a prostitute. So the cops who are saying that, saying these, uh, the, these things, making these comments, are lying, basically. And they are trafficking. Because um, I heard different names uh, of policemen who actually monitored my file. So I'm being, I'm being transferred around and passed around within the police uh, force itself. So, and again, I'm not saying all the police men and women are taking part in this. There are some of them. So these these claims and, and this file is in my family um, um, possession and was was in the possession is I'm not quite sure. But they they are um, they were uh, they were informed of the inf of the information and they believed it. So because uh, the cops are involved, there is a whole lot of credibility involved in it. So the whole setup is um, the gathering of constant gathering of, of information about myself, constant trials. If I'm found guilty, the microwave signals around me that I've demonstrated is turned up. This is a disciplining program. So instead of charging me, as I heard outside the window by I think the people who are working with Rick, um, instead of charging me, because uh, the comment is, the cops have real ev evidence. This is evidentiary warrant for you. So let Rick feed. These are the comments outside the window. Um, so the, uh, the information is fed to the, the, the cops. And uh, this information is uh, used to get warrants. So then the traffickers and the perpetrators are coming around telling me, updating me, by directed conversations that the cops have information that they can use to get a warrant to charge you. So you had better let Rick feed. Or else, um, because they found me guilty of whatever, um, you know, uh, we're going to piggyback on that. I'm going to make it absolute or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but these are the comments that is made around me and this is uh, the, the pieces of the puzzle that uh, that a target is meant to put together because it, it's presented as a game but really it's not it's not a game it's a terrorization campaign 
because every time something is done, um, you're updated about it, and then you're terrorized about it. We have a warrant. We have enough information to get a warrant. We have a new um, a client. Rick is the new seed. Rick is the new owner. You're a slave. You're a thing. You're a target. 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 Over and over, especially the kids. You're a prostitute. You're a whore. Uh, all these things are being shouted around you to terrorize you and to force you into showing, into performing for the new client because who, who is actually the person who has the name on the account, who is the manager of the team who is disciplining you with these technologies, finding you guilty and disciplining you appropriately. And by that I mean sleep deprivation, hitting you throughout the night, um, harassment, increase, escalated harassment, escalated mobbing, um, putting blocks in your way. I spoke to a family member just now and she said, um, I don't think I'm worried about you. I don't think you're going to keep the job. This is a family member saying something like this. This is putting blocks in your way. Mind you, this family member is taking part in a meeting and putting blocks in my way of finding a job and, and, and keeping it. Because she's saying, I don't think she's going to keep it. Well, because she's a family member, she's lending credibility. But really, she's not acting as a family member. She's acting as a perpetrator, as a harasser, putting blocks in my way. So what the family says is not credible. There has never been any mental illness. If they have declared me, any family member declared me, they, it was never disclosed. So non-disclosure is part of a conspiracy because I'm being harassed about it by the people around my unit, so they know about it, but it's never been disclosed to me, so that's part of a conspiracy. Non-disclosure is part of a, of a conspiracy that family members are taking part in. So I am looking for work. I fully intend to keep a job in which I'm not being harassed, in which I'm not being illegally surveilled, in which I'm not being framed and set up. I'm looking forward to working. I'm ready to work. Um, but uh, this, this program will follow you everywhere. It followed me in the past. Uh, hopefully it will not follow me in the future because I intend to get the flag off my name. The person in this building who first flagged me is going to disclose to me why they flagged me. And the people who had me pulled in for a mental evaluation the first time, who called the two cops who uh, waited uh, for me to come home, and came and grabbed me without any question and took me down. I want to know who made that call and what lies were told to make that happen. Who was the person in this building who did that? Who had the receipt? Was I flagged? And who flagged? Who flagged me? And were these people working in, uh, um, for the person who had the receipt? Was I set up? Was I framed? Well, the answer is yes. I just want to find out by who. Talk to you another time.